Anyway, continuing on. Stopping the influence of special interests. They, they're not going to. They're just not going to. I'm just going to say this out front. I might just, like, skip this whole, like, uh, section because they're not going to. Because the, 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 diff, the fundamental difference between the Democrats and the Republicans is how fast they're willing to go to needs for special interests. Basically, the Democrats are slower to go to needs for special interests as compared to the Republicans. And so, they, the, the point is, both go to the needs for special interests. And going to knees were referencing that they were performing sexual acts. Continuing on. Uh, too, much flow, um, uh, too much money flows in the shadows of influence of our elections. Advocate groups can run a, ads on issues attacking or supporting a candidate right until an like, election without disclosing who is paying for the ads. Um, this happened all the way back in like a 2000 with like, um, oh no, 2004 I'm thinking of. That was the first election I was able to vote into. Between um, George George W. Bush and John Kerry, uh, George Bush being the incumbent, and a Swiss uh, Swiss veterans Swiss voters veterans for truth was like not a George W. Bush endorsed like a uh, campaign or organization or anything like that or committee that was a separate committee, but the the that they were buying ads to attack John Kerry for his like service in like Vietnam. Yeah, John Kerry touts that like it's a strength of his that he won three purple hearts. But yet um that was that he was attacked because like there was like uh issues with him uh technically being there. Even my parents believe this like kind of like thing too, and I'm, I'm not sure what to like. They say about it, and what's the truth? And, like, was he there? Was he really there? Like, uh, how much acting did he see? He won three purple hearts, so like, my son saw something. But even my parents thought that like that he was buried there. And it's because of like what the Swiss voters, uh, Swiss book veterans for truth, and like I said. Uh, continue on. Uh, too often, powerful like special interests are use uh, use front groups and run these ads to like win at any cost. Well, the Democrats will do that too. Uh, even foreign uh, foreign entities that like are allowed to contribute to like political campaigns use dark marketing loopholes to like try to influence our elections. You have no problem with influencing elections of other countries, though. Both like Dems or Republicans. I find it rich that like uh. Nancy Pelosi and like uh, other Democrats like complain about Russian gate of like the uh, Russia influencing our elections and that part that's actually seems to be true because the Tencent uh, because of like Tim Pool and like Dave Rubin receiving like money to basically talk about like uh, pro Russia stuff uh, they were really paid for by the like Russian government. Uh, but yet, when like they were decrying of Russia's involvement in our elections, we influences other nations' elections all the fucking time. Do you want to have to go through the list again? Guatemala, nineteen fifty-four. The banana that we coined basically had us how the term banana republic come to be because we instituted and backed a banana republic. Uh, Argentina, nineteen seventy-six, and uh, Bolivia, nineteen seventy-one, and twenty nineteen. Venezuela not too long ago. Nancy Pelosi and my congressperson, like Adam Smith, still like uh, thinks that like Juan Guaido was the legitimate was the legitimate president of Venezuela, uh, over the not the most recent election, but the election before that, uh, that Hugo Chavez won. So I find it rich and like uh, the Democrats are crying foul about like election interference by like foreign entities in our elections when we do that all the fucking time is United States America has foreign policy. Uh, Haiti several times, for example. Uh, continuing on. To fight back, President Biden has like called for a mini passage of the Disclosure Act, which will require advocacy groups that like run ads on to influence elections to disclose donors who contribute more than ten thousand dollars and ban foreign entities from contributing uh, contribution to them. They will do a shell game if they can. Uh, under President Biden's leadership, the FCC, FEC, uh, has also finalized a rule and expanded like political, like uh, advertising and disclaimer requirements for like online public communications. Democrats will also fight to strengthen um, uh, public uh, financing with like small dollar matching for all federal candidates and crackdowns on foreign nationals who try to influence our elections. So we won't, don't want uh, foreign and people to like influence our elections, but we have no problem like influencing other people's elections all the time. 
again, even the Democrats, Nancy Pelosi said, like, hey, Juan Guaido was a legitimate person in Venezuela. Let's not forget, the, like, uh, the Democrats back in the genocide in, like, um, Palestine. Continue on. We will keep uh, super PACs, like, uh, wholly independent of uh, campaigns and parties and pass a like, congressional amendment that will ban an all private financing and from federal elections. How about how about a public fund? A public fund to, like, all elections and all candidacies so that here's your money. Here's your money for elections. You spend it how you want, but you're not getting anything else. But I think it was designed by the founding fathers, by the founding fathers, that, like, you, if you want to run, you have to put up your own money. And that would, like, allow that, uh, let it for it to be only rich people to run for office. Again, those who own the country should rule the country. That was deliberate. <sighs> Continue on. Democrats will end dark money by requiring full disclosure in, in, of contributors and ban uh, 501c4 organizations from spending money on elections and the curve they influence the special interests in all elections. Democrats will prohibit like a corporate PACs and like lobbying for donating to like anyone in their office. Well, once you, the Democrats, also lose money from doing that, I'll see it when I believe it. Continue on. Uh, trust in democracy is as critical to protecting democracy. The Democrats will like, adopt like ethic reforms to ensure every American can feel confident that their government is working for them and not for special interests. Democrats will enact legislation to like apply similar standards to like members of Congress. Democrats will like, create a federal ethnicity commission to strengthen good um, governance laws like those requiring uh, financial and lobbying disclosure. Democrats will like, require all or federal candidates to disclose at least 10 years of tax returns to ensure tax dollars go to like work for American people and not for special interests. Democrats will like reestablish like merit-based like federal uh, contracting and ban political appointees from like interfering in like a uh, grant making and ensure that like policy decisions are guided by like what's best for American people and not by special interests. Democrats will strengthen laws that rather regulate operating by foreign in governance and lower the thresholds for like registering a, a federal as a federal lobbyist. I believe I see it, and again, they won't apply that to like how they like act around the world. It was like a USA group that like backed the far right in like Bolivia at the institute of the like 2019 coup in Bolivia. Uh, yes, in some ways, the Democrats, I mean, seeing the Democrats are hypocrites, basically.